This is Gemma from Bass Like Hughes again talking about Beaujou. But this time I want to give a full review of the Cristalianas from the performance line of Beaujou. So I gotta start by saying I really like these heels. I think that they're great. They're great for Bachata, they're great for Salsa, good for Gazamba too. They are just everything you look for in that dance shoe. There's so much bend through the heel. But at the same time, you've got a lot of support here. There's even these straps which come across the front of the foot like, like so. So again, you just feel very secure, very comfortable, but at the same time, there's a lot of flexibility there. So you can point the toes, you can... see. I mean, look how much bend there is there. That's just, that's ideal. The toe box is very supportive. It's a great shoe. With Braju, I would say that there are a couple of drawbacks. Number one is the price. Brojou is not cheap at all. I do like their shoes, but they are expensive. Number two, I would have to say it's customer service. So I did have a bit of negative experience ordering these. On the website, it says that all of their shoes are fully customizable. And even on the descriptions of these crystallinias, it does say that you can change the heel to whatever you want. So when I ordered them, I ordered a 2.5 heel. So I wanted to try something a little bit smaller. And then after about three days, like after quite a long time, they got back to me and were like, oh no, sorry, not customizable. Which is which is okay, like, okay, that's frustrating. I can make do. But I just felt like they were a little bit difficult to deal with. And so I'm quite a laid back person. I don't really get bothered by these kinds of things. But at the same time, when I'm spending that much money, I kind of expect, you know, like a bit more decent customer service. So I have to wait over a day for each reply. I was a little bit frustrated because on the website, on the description of the Christianas, it actually explicitly says that you can choose your heel height. And there was an explicit question by another customer saying, can I order a 2.5 heel? And someone replied yes. I never got an apology for that, for that misinformation. And they were just a little bit, just a little bit tricky to deal with. And I had already bought a pair of heels from Bergeau, so I wasn't so underconfident. But had I not already bought a pair, I probably would have just cancelled my order, to be honest. Again, I am, believe it or not, I'm actually quite laid back. I don't want me to get be weird about this much service or anything like that. But it's just it's just more about the price point, you know? Like, when you're spending that much money online, especially online, I feel like customer service is very important. Because you don't know the company, you can't physically see the products. You don't know whether it's just a scam, you know? So had that been my very first interaction with Virgil, I would have been pretty disappointed to be honest and I probably wouldn't have ordered with them again. But that being said, I'm glad I did because this shoe is great. I love it. I wear it all the time. Um, my number one concern when it first arrived was that as you can see it's full of little crystals. I assume that these would be falling off all the time and they don't. I think I've lost one in all the time that I've been wearing them. You can see where I miss one maybe. You can notice the little hole. And that's pretty impressive because I have worn these a lot. I've worn these for performances, I've worn these for social dancing, I've worn them for practices. I mean, I was meaning to only have them for before uh, performances, but I love them so much, I just, I always wear them. And they look so nice when they're on. They're just really nice shoes. Highly, highly recommended. Okay, actually, I will do a short section where I compare the traditional Latin dance shoes that Roju does to their less traditional ones. I think these are more for heels dancing, to be honest. Um, but you can use them for Bajata, Salsa, Kizomba, etc. Um, I would say I prefer their Latin dance shoe line for Salsa and Bachata. It, it, just, it just feels better. You have more um, flexibility in the toe. I mean, this one you have quite a bit of flexibility, but it's just not quite the same. The product, the, the material, sorry, used in their or slash more traditional that that shoe line. It just feels a bit better somehow. I think this is satin. It actually feels like proper nice satin. Just the workmanship somehow feels a bit better. Like I don't know if I think I suspect from comparing these that they are made by different factories. Yeah they're obviously made by someone different. And these ones I would have to say are just that little bit better. In terms of balance, I also feel like these are just a little bit better balance than these ones. But maybe it's my style of dancing. Yeah, I just, I find myself reaching for the Christianas more than these. I actually find myself using these more for uh, heels dancing. I mean, the another big difference is actually probably the sole type. So these ones are the studio only, and obviously that's a really nice material to be dancing on. Whereas these ones are the street sole, they're called. So I think they're made by some, with some kind of plastic, basically. And they're supposed to be able to be used for, you know, street and also for, dancing in um, 
studio was there just meant to fit everything. So perhaps, I mean, that might be why actually. Maybe it's the, the, the soles of the shoes. So yeah, that's my overall review of Verju of the Priscillianas. Um, let me know how you, what you think of Verju. Maybe you had a similar experience to me, maybe you didn't. And especially about the customer service, like really let me know in the comments. Because like I said, maybe, maybe it was just a one-off, but from other reviews I've read, I don't think that's the case. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.